Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over and today's video is all about one of the Assault Class's semi-auto rifles that has helped me rack up my highest in-game kills total so far and that is the Selbstlader 1916. I'll be talking you through why it's my favourite gun, give you some tips and tricks on how to make the most out of it and what specialisations tree I think makes it the best it can be didn't mean that to rhyme so if you find this video useful or entertaining make sure you've hit that like button and if you're new around here and you want to keep up to date with more battlefield 5 content then make sure you've hit that subscribe button as well so let's get started with the stats i'm comparing it here to the other semi-auto rifles available in the assault class as the assault rifles play so differently it didn't really seem to make sense to me to include them in the equation and i've included the improved stats that the specializations show for everything apart from the gewehr 1 to 5 the gewehr 15 i'm going to call it the gewehr 15 from now on because it's really not clear which I haven't yet managed to level up. So the Selbstlader 1916 which was actually one of my favourite medic rifles in Battlefield 1 starts off with a fire rate of 225 until you unlock a specialisation that increases it to 257 which is what you're seeing now. Even with the improved fire rate it's still the slowest firing of the semi-auto rifles, the next slowest being the Gewehr 43. So I'll cycle through each of the semi-auto rifles here so you can compare the stats of each of them to the Selbstlader. Feel free to pause the video on each one if I go through them too fast but the general theme with the Selbstlader Slada is that it either does more damage per shot or has higher accuracy than its competitors or in the cases of the M1A1 Carbine and the Gewehr 15 it has both. The trade-off being a far slower fire rate as I mentioned before. What really works in favour of the Selbstlada though is that high damage per shot matched by the Gewehr 43 which makes it a three shot kill up to about 40 to 50 meters. I can't find the exact measurements yet as the stats that I usually get from simthick.com hasn't actually been updated for Battlefield 5 yet but that's my best guess from my in-game experience so far. The Selbstlader also has a huge 26 round mag and a very fast reload as well making it far easier to move from fight to fight or take on multiple enemies in quick succession. The Gewehr 15 does have a larger mag with 31 rounds available but from my experience so far the high damage per shot and the large mag of the Selbstlader makes it feel like you have more than enough ammo per magazine. And it's that large magazine that plays so heavily into why the Selbstlader can be such a good weapon. A lot of it has to do with the playstyle as well. The Selbstlader is a brilliant mid to long range weapon and is particularly good when you're using it defensively, which I'll get onto more in a bit. But it's also where the emphasis for the specializations I've chosen lies. So let's have a look at them now. So starting from the top, we've got Quick Aim, which lets you ADS 33% faster. You would have noticed in the footage that I've been using the medium range scope, which gives you three times magnification. So being able to aim in faster can be the difference quite often between staying alive or not recoil buffer which reduces vertical recoil always useful trigger job that increases the standard fire rate by 30 rounds a minute to 257 and finally i chose the bipod the other option in the last branch of the tree is barrel bedding which gives you improved accuracy while stationary so it's very similar to the bipod but my reasoning is if i'm stationary anyway i'll more often than not be behind cover or lying prone in which case the bipod is better as it removes any recoil almost entirely whereas using barrel bedding simply doesn't do quite as good a job of it. So let's talk more about playstyle and as I mentioned earlier the Selbstlader is very strong defensively so if you can support from mid-range when your team is attacking and pick players off before you move into closer quarters you'll find a lot of success but after you've taken a capture point Find the hot routes, those busy lanes approaching an objective or a vantage point nearby where you can see the enemy coming from. Get set up when you know the enemy is nearby, deal with the fight and reposition so you can't get picked off when that enemy eventually comes back for revenge and also don't camp because you know that's not cool finding vantage points behind cover is the way to go to make the most out of the bipod and if there isn't cover where you'd like it to be make sure to check if you can build your own using the fortification system now the time to kill as you've seen in the footage is still very fast even with that slower fire rate than the other weapons in the assault class so if you can practice fast target acquisition and you have good aim then you'll often beat other players with a variety of loadouts but if you're in very close quarters, you have to hit your shots or you will be punished. At long range, having the medium range scope and the bipod can cause some real issues for the recon class and those bipodded LMGs and MMGs as well. You've got a lot of precision on your side using the Selbstlader and the fire rate outstrips anything in the recon class. So you can at least neutralize the effectiveness of those opponents if you can't bag a kill. 
Thanks to attrition as well, you'll find fairly often that you won't need to hit all three shots to get a kill, and if you can land headshots, you're looking at a two-tap most of the time. Quite often with other weapons, I'll find I do damage, land shots, but can't finish the kill, but thanks to the higher damage per shot of the Selbstarder, this happens far less often. And in my opinion, this is one of the better weapons in the Assault class and maybe the entire game. If you play in the right way, you're able to challenge all of the other classes very efficiently and it's surprisingly versatile. Aside from a head-on fight against multiple enemies, you've always got a decent chance of survival, but it's at mid-range where this gun really dominates. And thanks to the map sizes in Battlefield 5, this is where you're going to be fighting from most often anyway. I've really enjoyed using it so far and I'd encourage you guys to give it a go yourself and see what happens. But all of that is just what I think. What do you guys make of the Selbstlader 1916? Have you used it yet? Have you got another weapon in the Assault class that's your favourite? Make sure you let me know what you think down in the comments below. And here is a quick thank you to those of you guys that are helping to support the channel through Patreon, my Dame Operatives. It's because of you guys that I'm able to make content as often as I do. And with the aim of doing this full time, hopefully in the near future, if you'd like to become a patron yourself and show your support, then I've left a link in the description and in the pinned comment where if you'd like to, you can help support the channel from as little as $1 a month. So if you had a good time, make sure you've hit that like button. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button too. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any future posts. And as always, feel free to share this video absolutely wherever you like. And until next time, that's game over. Peace.